The anti-communist interrogation room in central Seoul was where student activist Park jong tol was tortured and killed, sparking the nationwide democratic movement in June 1987. The brutal story also garnered great public attention after it was made into a film. A group of young artists have been holding a unique performance at the symbolic site. Let's take a look. The movie 1987 deals with various events in Korea's modern history, including how a young man named Park jong chul was tortured to death. The anti-communist interrogation room in Namyeongdong, Seoul, featured in the movie. The tragic venue that set off the nationwide democratic protest in June of that year is a vivid reminder of a turbulent time. The building's fifth floor houses 16 interrogation cells measuring only 13 square meters. The windows of those rooms are much narrower than the ones on the other floors. Water spews out of these windows. It represents Korea's past when water torture was rampant. In room 508, right next to 509 where Park was tortured, a sliver of light passing through the narrow window serves as a guideline for a tattoo. It is a performance that records an historical moment on the body in an historical place. 박종철 열사와 같이 그런 식으로 학생 운동에 참여했었던 나이대가 같은 그러나 다른 시간대에 살고 있는 청년 작가들이 이곳에 들어와서 할수 있는 것이 무엇일까? Artists get on a lift truck to peer into the closed interrogation rooms. When they arrive at the fifth floor, they get a letter from a locked inmate. 여기서 보여주고 있는 퍼포먼스들은 이 장소를 비극화한다기보다는 이 장소가 갖고 있는 현재적 의미를 중점을 두고 작업을 하고 했습니다. This exhibit features performances by 13 teams of young artists who put the historic site of human rights abuses in the spotlight.